What's up, YouTube? Today we're checking out the secret sauce of making Afro beats. Before we get to the video, please leave a like, please subscribe to the channel because apparently only 60% of the people that watch these videos are subscribed. Follow me on Instagram, at Chikabeats with a Z, because somebody else saw my name. And follow me on Spotify because I got some great music coming out soon. And if you have any questions like this, be sure to stick around to the end of the video because I might have already answered your questions. Hey. Okay, so welcome to my FL Studio. For this tutorial, I decided to already play some layers of guitar to just get started. If you aren't familiar with a lot of these Afro slash dancehall, whatever type of beats, try to just start out learning this genre by finding a melody on whatever Looperman or Splice or whatever other sample site to just get started without having to think too much about, oh, I'm trying to get this sound. Me, I play this guitar. It sounds like this. So fire. So I played the guitar already for you guys so we could just focus on the drums today because that is really the most important thing of these Afro beats because in, in the Afro beat or dancehall or whatever kind of genre you can really go as far as you want with the melodies because you can use a really simple melody or you can go really far out but the drums is really the essence of this genre. It's the Afro is all about the rhythm, it's all about the ta 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 you know, you gotta make yourself familiar uh, with that rhythm if you wanna make fire afro beats. So let's just start uh, by adding a pattern uh, over this guitar right here. And I'll just loop the first section of this beat so we don't have to focus about arrangement or anything like that right now. And let's just start by adding some sounds. Uh, for afro beats, you will have to find a good afro. Uh, drum kit, uh, just search the internet, browse the internet for some afro beat drum kits, afro dance hall. For afro you can even use latin drum kits or whatever. All these genres where it's more about the the rhythm kind of have some similar sounds with some different kind of kind of flavors to it like like reggaeton or latin music has these different flavors and afro has these different flavors so you can you know there's the boundaries in these genres are really like sometimes hard to know apart from when you're really from there you know me i'm half nigerian so i got a little bit of afro sauce inside of me but i'm not i, I haven't been raised inside of the nigerian culture uh, so i was born in belgium so I, I wasn't raised with all of those influences you know so um I don't want to disrespect anybody by saying I know everything about Afro shit, but I'm just teaching you guys how to make Afro shit, bro. Hey, I'll go to one of my uh, Afro packs that I got right here. Okay, so uh, to start off this beat, we're going to start with kind of a rim or a clap or whatever to just give our general rhythm. There's a lot of different patterns, but it's all variations of like one kind of pattern. So uh, let me just show you guys what pattern it is I'm talking about. So. So this is one variation of the pattern, you could also do this. But I feel like that is more dancehall than afro, so I'm just going to go for this right now. And then we're just going to copy that uh, a couple of times like this. pattern is uh, longer than that so let's just copy that as well like that so let's check out some more sounds I want to use this as well maybe copy it and add one on the first beat So 
See, simple but but super fire. So let's delete these and copy it like this. So we got the same thing everywhere. The next thing we're gonna use is like um, some toms or like bongos or whatever to 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 really get this rhythm going. So the thing with these toms is you really gotta understand the rhythm. So it's like. So we're gonna just program that in and then make sure the note of the of the the bongo or of the tom actually fits with the melody we got. And the bass one doesn't really fit, so like that. Let's also copy that. Bro, it's already fire, bro. I love the I love this type of music, bro. It's it's I feel it deep down, bro. Let's just stop the tutorial right here and just vibe out a little bit. <laughs> now, okay, let's continue. Uh, fourth thing I want to add is uh, maybe a shaker or something like this. Uh, although I want to cut out this reverb. And I want to create just like a... Like a... So what I'm gonna do is fill each four steps. Select everything and then uh, hold shift and copy it like this. But now I'm gonna alt X and, and reduce the volume of this like this. And let's make sure uh, the thing cuts itself just like this uh, and then now let's uh, zoom in a little bit more and then just select everything and copy that again and then now let's alt X that again and then just bring down the volume even more and with that you create like the chick -chick because the velocities is really what creates the 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 actual rhythm. Uh, the only thing right now is that the the sound is still a little bit too long over here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, press right click, edit it in the audio editor, and just uh, cut out a little bit of the ending here. Just press delete and just drag that back into our thing here. <laughs> It's a little bit too high, so let's pitch it down a little bit. And what we can do with this type of music is turn on the swing function over here a little bit. I love you guys. Probably haven't heard about the swing function, bro. So this will make sure that your entire pattern is kind of swinging a little bit, but you can't overdo it because it will really fuck up your room. So, uh... So that's overdoing it, just a little bit will be fine. And now this is kind of like the 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 base <laughs> of, of our rhythm. And then the the rest is kind of like personal vibes or preferences or little extra sounds. Just go through some sounds and see what you can add. Find some cool things and, and, and just listen, you know, feel it.
See, even this shaker, because it's double, you, ah, it's so fire. And then uh, for, for, for a part in the song where you kind of have the hook or something, something of a more higher intensity going on, I like to just add one uh, high frequency sound that, that drives, the, that drives the, the, the more intense part. And you can do that with a simple hi-hat, something like that, just like... See something like that? You can see how it makes a difference. Then, and then the only thing uh, we need to add is the kick and the bass. There's different kind of vibes you can go for. You can go for like a really soft kick or you can go for an intense kick and that will really change the mood of the song. Like a hard kick will, will give your song more like a club afro vibe and a really soft kick will, will, will just make it like a relaxing and chilling song. For this one I might just use uh, a soft kick, but I'll, I'll show you guys the difference. This is the hard kick, so we'll fill every four steps. The difference with a soft kick, I'll show you guys. Let's let's find a soft one. Yeah, this one is fire. Let's just copy it here. This is a little bit different, you know. I feel like the second kick fits the song more like you know this is the first one fire fire so let's just uh, link these all to the mixer channel so I'm just selecting them all by pressing uh, command L they're all to a mixer channel so now it's time for a bass uh, I'll just use like a, a, a simple sub bass from my drum kit uh, and I'll just make the bass uh, rhythmic as well like just uh, to just give it a little bit it's not really super important you know it's kind of with the club the vibe is more important that you really need to go, you know, to, to get the people moving. But in this kind of vibe, it's just like more like a background. Like just give the general feeling to it, you know, you just got to feel the bass. See it like that, the bass is too loud right now, but this rhythm I just did, um, it creates like a good... See it like that, and that's simple, um, just copy it, and then I'm just really going to lower the volume because it's too loud. Alright, so uh, that's 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 basically it. I'll now uh, uh, split the pattern uh, into the different patterns so I can make a little structure for the beat. But before we're going to listen to the end result, let's answer some questions. Hey Chucky, do you think FL Studio is too expensive for a beginner? I mean, I can't even open my project in trial and no external plugins, so I guess I go for a producer for 180 euros. Um, 
I'm fully aware of that not everybody has uh, a, a lot of money to spend or whatever, but I feel like it costs the same as two pairs of shoes or it costs it's cheaper than a PlayStation, you know. So if you have a PlayStation, you could as well you could you could have bought FL Studio, you know what I mean? So it, I know I'm not I know it's not cheap, but it's not it's not like it costs 10,000 like some 3d software or something like that so I would say make the right choices in your life me when I started out producing I didn't have a lot of money uh, I sold my PS PS3 to get FL studio instead and I stopped playing games and I started investing in my life so that's my advice for you bro hey bro your sunglasses is booming where did you buy these I don't even I bought them in Amsterdam, bro. They, I, I like him. What are, what are your favorite sunglasses of mine, bro? I, I love sunglasses. I love these. I love other pairs of glasses. I love, I love sunglasses, bro. How do you like your Aston Halo? If you, in case you didn't know what the Aston Halo is, it's, a, it is that reflection filter right there. Uh, it's something that uh, makes sure that there's not a lot of reflections going on in the room when uh, you're recording. I mean, like that protects your mic from the reflections that are going on in the room. For me, it's really, 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 really worth it because you can do or this, or you can acoustically treat your room for about, I don't know, 5,000 euros or something like that. So you will never get the same result as a perfectly treated room, but this is like, like use this bro, like just use it, it's fire. What effect is similar to RC20 in the FL Studio stock plugins? So RC20 is something that will make your uh, melodies or, or whatever sound more vinyl and old school. I can tell you that there is not really an FL Studio stock plugin that does it, but there is a free, totally free plugin uh, by Isotope. It's called Isotope Vinyl. It's a free plugin to do pretty much the same thing with a little bit less options, but I've used it in, in so many beats that I made. So check out Isotope Vinyl, not sponsored. Yo Chucky, how can I do the right settings in FL Studio and audio interface to use OBS Studio to record videos in FL Studio? So basically asking how do you record your screen with audio? This is a question that, bro, I've, I've struggled with this exact thing for so long. And uh, yeah, you, you, it's really difficult to use uh, an ACO driver when recording. Uh, YouTube videos or when recording videos. So I'm for these videos me myself I'm using my uh, Folksrite USB audio so I can go to, my latency is really high So it's kind of difficult, but there on Mac There's ways to work around that on Mac you have Soundflower Which is like the thing that rewrites your audio right now on OBS. They have like an ACO uh, Plugin that you can find but it's not perfect You know you have to look on Google or whatever to find solutions for this problem. Yo Chucky who stole your name? Shit I don't know, bro. It, it's I don't know, bro. Ha! Ah, I don't know. We need to find this guy, bro. If you found him, let me know. Okay, so y'all just learned the secret sauce of making Afro beats. In the next video, we're going to be talking about all the secret sauce of bass and slides and 808s and uh, and everything about bass. Leave a like, subscribe, follow my Instagram, follow my Spotify. Enjoy. Thank you. Love you guys. Bow. <laughs>